Hello everybody of YouTube. Been a while since I've been here and made a video for y'all. Well, for those of you who are new and joining me, this YouTube channel I have for tech stuff is known as Sonic Dude 10. I go by the name of Chaotic Mind. And since I'm making this video for the people of Obscure Gamers, yep, that Chaotic Mind, I'm here. And what is this? Well, many of you might remember I mentioned that I got a Sony 400 disc CD changer. I did. 400 CD. This particular thing here, to be exact, is a Sony CXP 455. Somewhere here it should show it. There we go. CXP, or no, CX 455. It's just a simple CD player. Now it's missing the jacks and the cables and the screws and stuff. And the knobs up here on the front. Because I've already taken the thing apart and stripped it out. And in fact over here i got a pile of stuff. That's important. So. I've already taken it apart. Since my plan for this thing. Is to change up what it, discs it plays. I'll discuss more on that in a minute. So first I'll start by pulling this cover off. A lot of screws that hold it on. Bye bye. Next, let's take the top off. I'll throw it over here. There's the back panel. I already took the power cord out. That was a bit of a pain. Now we're inside the unit. Oh, let's take off one, a few other things here. Get the front cover, and we'll also get the door. Fine. Now we'll get the door. Yes, I have taken it completely apart. Okay, what is it apart now? We can see inside here what we got. This huge carousel. It's got 400 discs on it. And it rotates here. It's got a motor and a gear assembly there to rotate it. So this motor here goes through this rubber band belt. Rubber bands are fine. They're good still, so they work. Goes through that to a gear mechanism to turn the hub. And then the disk drive, this is the interesting one. You'll see here, I'm going to manually activate it. Right now, the disk tray is open. You know, it's opened up, no disk in it. Just like if you had the tray open on your computer. And that allows this to rotate so it can choose a disk. Once a disc is lined up and selected, like let's say here we want disc 1. Let's see if I can line it up for disc 1. Okay, so we want disc 1. Once we line it up, this motor and this pulley here will spin. This will come down. It locks the tray so the tray don't move anymore. I can't twist it. And then... This thing will come forward, reach in there, grab the disc, grip it, and pull it in. Then once it gets down here, it opens it up. And notice the CD tray here, this black thing, is moving in. So the CD drive sits in the tray there, and it brings that in. And then once it gets close enough, this all pops down together, and it starts playing the disc. And this also opens in the meantime. But the nice thing about this, we'll reverse it so I can pull the tray out easier. The nice thing about this system is that it's all done by just one motor. A single operation each way for open and close and each end has a limit switch. So that means that disk loading and unloading we can have handled by a regular desktop CD drive that has a push button tray release. We'll use the push button to load and unload the disc we want. So I'm going to finish unrolling this so that way the tray comes free. Then we'll take the tray out. So now, we got a lot of stuff here. This wire and these since this wire here, this does the front tray, the door open that slides open and close. Easy to deal with. You got limit switches and motor wires. This is the complex one. 
you got the sensor here to detect a disc you got sensors here that read spaces on the bottom of this to determine the disc location and that's going to be hard to program in because of the design of it with the slots between all those sensors but we got that so this and this for the disc detection to tell if it's a disc there we may use that it may not then we got these sensors so we need an Arduino to read them to control the disc rotation so we'll figure that out as we go along and finally the last piece by the way these are all the wires for the sensors there that's going to be fun to work with so we got the disc mechanism here and I showed you already how it loaded it's got this thing here which will lock the tray in place this comes out grabs a disc pulls it in and loads it and it's all done from one motor and one operation well if we look around at this thing here I quit dropping it there we got some limit switches in here these are hit by the operation of this so we use these to detect disc in there or tray open or whatever on a CD on a optical disc drive and then that will take care of that Arduino to control this mode I think that's an extra sensor for the stopping but we'll see what we use but then Arduino to control this other motor here that this one over here that does the uh, this <clears throat> sorry this one here that does the tray motion the gear that spins the wheel tray over there so we'll need to control that from an arduino but because they're both big motors we'll need a lot of stuff we'll need an h bridge to control these a dual channel need an arduino to uh control the tray movement and probably the door opening and closing at minimum but this is where i want you to come in because you see this black tray here that moves in and out is where the optical drive will sit and the space we have there is plenty I can custom fit however I want to there because the original drive that sat in there sat below or right below on it and look how much space to the disc so we got space to put wherever we want there we can make an adapter to bring it up make it have a piece of plastic or metal or something and then space up a blu-ray drive or something so that's where i want your input what would be the best option drive for this for someone who wanted to do mass media dumping to their computer say that you somehow come across like a thousand blu-ray discs for something and dvd cds whatever that you need to dump what would be the best drive to put in here for that Preferably USB 3 powered or SATA powered. Probably SATA powered and then just have SATA power come in. Or a SATA connected disc and then SATA power to come into it. That's what I was thinking. So that way you... And I even have a eSATA cable that has a USB 2 connection on it for 5 volt. And then a 12 volt connection for a 12 volt connection to a drive. It's an eSATA cable. I could rig that up. And we could use the USB off of it to control the Arduino for like a make a auto ripping program that would load and unload the CD drive or the DVD or Blu-ray drive as needed. That is an option. I can hook up USB into the eSATA cables and get that going. But that's where I want you guys input from obscure gamers or whoever sees this. In the th in the description below there will be a thread linked. So. If you mind going there, checking it out, supporting obscure gamers and the rare, weird, and obscure, or in this case, just pure dumb stupidness, give me some input. I want this to be a kind of a community project, but this has been Chaotic Mind of Obscure Gamers coming at you with a crazy tech project, and a Merry Christmas to all of you out there. I'll catch you next time after I get some input and make another video on this in a month or two. Peace out.